Really need to stop getting myself in these types of situations. I'm naked and my head is up a dodo's butt. Welcome back to Prometheus, everybody. We're on Crystal Isles. I'm naked. I died. Something came up when I logged on. When I came back, I was dead. So, <laughs> we are once again at, uh, you know, the beginning of the game. So, what I want to do is go ahead and craft up an army. No, I want to craft up a smithy. There we go. So we could craft some armor. Uh, I believe we should be able to get all the upgrades now. I thought I had a smithy in here already. Uh... Because, I don't know what the hell, what? I did have a smithy in here. I don't know what I did with it. It's very interesting. Because I've got, because I crafted these up already. So I don't know what was going on. Craziness is happening. Anyways, we need to make armor. We can finally get all the flak armor. I learned it a little while ago. Uh, what else are we going to need? I'm probably going to need the rest of this here. Metal ingots. Now, the base is a circle. And by a circle, I mean it's a square. I'm clearly losing my mind. And we need to make it better. Jeez, I was like way up inside its booty that time. <laughs> Wilson, can you just relax over here, dude? Yeah? You cool with that? You gonna be okay? You just gonna chillax for a second? You got a little freaking laser beam eyes, don't you? Gangster ass dodo. Anyways, I would like to start upgrading the base to the steampunk stuff. Because I've pretty much built, since I came back to Ark... Solely with Castle Forts and Keeps. And I love that mod. It is amazing. It's one of the best mods I've built with. It's the best mod I've built with, actually. And I'm going to be a little sad to leave it behind. But I figured it's time to start something new. Now, that's not saying we do not have uh, Castle Forts and Keeps on here. We do. There's some things I'm going to be exploring with that. I didn't realize I had all this metal in here still. So, don't worry. Perhaps I will still build some cool stuff with it. But I really want to start using some of the steampunk stuff. And there's a lot of cool stuff actually in the mod that's going to make our lives quite a bit easier. So what are we missing here? We're missing Fibrae. Do we have any Fibrae in here? Uh, we do. 433. Nice. So what we're going to need to do to get that done is we need to actually start taming some, you know, some of the, the worker dinos. Like a, a Dodic, an, Ank an Ankylo... Mm, uh, probably a trike. I know we can probably tame the Prometheus trike, so I'll probably give that a shot today. And once we get all that stuff, it's going to make it really, really easy to farm all the things we need to start crafting with the Castle Forts and Keep stuff. Because the first thing we need to do is we need to get all the stuff in here. So we need cementing paste, glass panel, metal ingots, and smelted copper. Now we can get smelted copper. We already know where that is. I don't know where to make the glass panels. I thought that was something we made with pieces of the steampunk mod. Well, it doesn't seem we could craft anything from the steampunk mod other than that. Although, wait, what is this? Ooh, there is a blast forge in here. So we need... First thing we need to do is we need to get metal, obsidian, silica pearls, and cementing paste. We've already got a little bit of cementing paste. And uh, this is how we're going to get our glass panels. So that's going to be the first goal today. As well as while we're looking for everything that we need for this... We're going to be looking for some of our basic dinos. So, we've got a bunch of metal in there crafting up. I don't have to be naked anymore, which is quite nice. And uh, we're doing quite good. So I hope you guys are all enjoying the series so far. And if you find yourselves enjoying this episode, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. Really helps me out. You guys are amazing. Um, we were playing Slime Rancher a lot, although I think the last episode I released is going to be the last episode I release for a little while. And it seems like the interest in it has faded away drastically. It's been The views have been for it have been getting cut in half pretty much every episode, down to pretty much nothing now. So, it seems like it's probably time to finish that series off. But, we are very thirsty, and thankfully we've got this nasty pond water over here. Now, what do I want to do? We want to do things. We want to tame things. We need trank arrows which means do we have any spoiled meat we do not have any spoiled meat is there any spoiled meat on hue nope where did all the spoiled meat go why does nobody have any spoiled meat what is this a sarcosuchus skin what when did you get that okay so uh, there's a couple of things I need to prepare for did I put any in here I didn't Something has gone awry. I don't understand. I had tons of soiled meat. Okay. 
Well, so that's something we're going to have to work on. We're just going to have to grab meat off of you. Oh, there we go. We got 525. Nice. That'll work. Now we just need to farm up some narco berries and get ready to do some tranking. Definitely need some of those basic utility dinos. All right. So we found a nice little peaceful spot. And it looks like we got a couple ankylos here. A big old herd of packy rhinos. If one of these is high level, I might go ahead and tame one and kind of leave it here. So we got a little 16, a little 64, nothing that great. I did also realize I've got, oops, is this not what, what am I supposed to, there we go. Got to use the, uh, the old hatchet there. We're definitely not getting a lot of smelted copper ore from these bad boys. This is doing a little bit better. There we go. So I don't need too much to actually make the workbench. I also really don't need the work or need this for the workbench, but I'm just gathering it. Well, since I saw it, I really need to be gathering up some obsidian right now and then looking for some cementing paste. This is, ooh, I thought that was a horse for a second. I was like, oh, a wild echo, I say. Ooh, we got hyenodons over here too. Nice. Okay, so now we know where to get those. Pretty cool. I do want to tame some hyenodons here soon just for funsies i don't think the prometheus mod has any uh, modded hyenodons in it there's actually not a hole am i i'm hungry oh my goodness why, why do i feel like i'm moving way faster than i should be i'm not even the, i wasn't even holding the button down and i just kept flying interesting so i need food oh uh, the struggle is for realsies so i'm gonna have to go get some cooked meat and I think I can get, where do I, where the hell do I get obsidian? Oh, you know what? We can get obsidian right here on the way back. Uh, cause this is the lava island over here. All right. Well, we might as well land here since it looks like we need some freaking water too. I think the, these are some obsidian rocks right there. Memory. Oh, it's a turtle. Okay. I was like, oh my God, I'm jumping off. I'm going to get sarcoed. So still need to eat a little bit more of that. I think this is an obsidian rock. Are you? Okay, you're giving me stone. I'm gonna have to use a pick for obsidian. There we go. Okay, nice. So we should be able to get plenty of obsidian. Last time I was here, there was lots of evil stuff around this little pond, which is actually a really nice area to build as well. Oh, there's some obsidian right there. There's a nice little flat spot right there that you can build on, and it's a pretty little spot because you've got a waterfall and all the crystals coming out of the water. I kind of wish I built here instead actually oh you know what this isn't the same as it used to be this used to be wider there used to be a lot more room to build right here was that before there's I don't I didn't think it was oh you know what it was before the actual official release okay um before the uh, she had to redo the map before the uh sponsored mod thing or after the sponsored mod thing so things have changed a little bit still a pretty area to build on so we need some more obsidian also looking for some prometheus dinos to tame i think i've i've brought 42 element with me which i can craft four of the prometheus uh, dino food thingy maboobers now i haven't crafted it into the food because it does spoil and then you get like one uh, uh element fragment from it which is pretty garbage so <laughs> i need to make sure not to craft up a whole bunch every time i go get some so we should be able to find, you know what? We'll just go up here. There was a, there used to be a big old dragon that lived at the top of this volcano. And I think we should be able to just find some obsidian up here now. Hopefully I don't wish to die today. Is there obsidian up here? There is. Okay. Nice. Can I actually walk up here? Oh, it is very hot. My giblets are going to melt off. Okay. Can I walk on the ground? Okay, we're good. We gotta we gotta rush through this. That's not obsidian. That's not obsidian. None of this is Oh, there's some obsidian. Oh my god. Ah. We're gonna die. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, there's an explorer note here. What do we got? We got the Parasitherium! Yeah, Parasaratherium. The horse dino. God, they're so freaking goofy looking. It's obnoxious. I thought I was going to touch the lava there for a second. Do we got anything good in here? What we got? What is all this? Generate dragon. Is this is this supposed to be in there? Interesting. Okay. Whatever. 
Who would have thunk the real struggle of building this thing would have been finding frickin' silica pearls. So apparently there's some silica pearls over here somewhere in the White Shoals. And I'm trying to get to it. I read that it's like in 9113-ish, which is like right over here. And, oh, okay, I've, I've built here before. I know where I'm at. I don't remember ever seeing silica pearls over here, though. It should be, like, in this area. Ugh. Wait. Wait. Oh. So, we could kill these for some silica pearls. I think. Pretty sure you get silica pearls off these bad boys, right? At the, the, the troglobites, the trilobites, the trollobites. There's this one mod where they're ginormous and they're called trollobites. So that's why I call them trollobites. So we're definitely not going to get very many from doing this. But it's going to be better than nothing. I think these things, it's been so long since I've had to kill one of these. Do you guys still give? You have so much health. Why am I doing this? I have a wyvern for Christ's sake. Hey, Parasaur, I know the wyvern's sexy, but you don't got to be all up inside, okay? There is a beached whale over here. <laughs> kind of want to kill it. Uh, but we got to focus on these trilobites. Now, I've been searching around for uh, the silica pearls for a hot minute now, and it just haven't had the luck. Now, if I eat it, do you give me silica pearls? You do 10. You give me 10. A whopping 10 silica pearls. I feel like if I just kill it and not eat it, I'll probably get more. So let's try a pickaxe. Chitin. Okay, so we got 15. That's better than 10. So we're just going to go to that. To about 100 freaking million of these things is what we need. Because I think we need... I guess, I guess there's really not that many. We need like 150, I think. It's not too bad. Could be better. Could be a lot easier if the Wyvern could kill them. Oh, my Lanta. The struggle is for real. I see something that doesn't quite look like it belongs. <gasps> it's a freaking rhinoceros. Why are you in the swamp? You know, I'm not going to get close. It's probably an aggro rhinoceros. An evil rhinoceros. So I didn't realize I'm already out at the redwood biome. And now that I think of it, I've never actually explored the redwood biome. I'm going around trying to find some beaver dams so I can get some more skimenting paste i have a feeling that maybe some of these crystals give it though i was kind of i was looking through the mod page and i didn't see anything that notated any specific gather points for uh cementing paste but i'm gonna go ahead and i think i i don't know if i've ever harvested these crystals before that was super laggy i don't know where those things screwed off to but they did <laughs> all right let's go ahead and do this quick like all right, we should be good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Crystal, 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 crystal. No cementing paste, and we're gone. <laughs> Ain't gonna mess with that too much. But we should be able to find some beavers and some beaver dams in the redwood biome. I was just hoping to be able to find a little bit of an easier trick to get it done. Because I am having... I was able to find beaver dams pretty easy the other day. And today, I'm not having the best of luck. So, I don't know. We only need like 150. I've got everything else. I believe we've got all the... Let's see here. So we've got... Uh, we got the metal back at the base. We got the obsidian. We got the silica pearls. And now we... Yeah, we just need the cementing paste. Mayhap we'll get something from this beautiful purple drop. That's a large purple drop. Highly unlikely, but you know, never... You never know. What is this? Garbongo. Everywhere. An apprentice Anklio saddle. I'll take that. Okay, why can't I drop everything out of these anymore? That's annoying. Okay. All right, we got us some beaver dams. Now, we got this one here with a beaver all up inside of it. I want one without beavers all up in it. So if we can just... You know what? We're going to hop off. We're going to whistle passive so our wyvern doesn't fly away. I learned that lesson a long time ago. When you're stealing shit from beavers... Oh, yes. Make sure your whatever your escape plan is isn't on aggressive. Because it will fly the frick away from you and abandon your ass while you're inside of the thing. So, we uh, got everything we need. We got all the cementing paste. I feel like I'm probably going to actually harvest all the ones that I can find on the way back. 
just so I have some stocked up and don't have to leave the house all the time to find more. Because there is plenty of beavers all up in here. Ooh, we got some beehives. This is by far the best redwood biome ever. Isolde, you are truly amazing. You do some amazing work on this mod. You're the best. I don't know if you're going to watch this, but I'm just, I'm just saying. You're amazing. Oh my god, I'm just sitting here farming some freaking metal. And I just found a beaver. Uh, not a beaver, a freaking otter. Yeah, level 144 otter nonetheless. Now we just need a fish. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I just need a fish. I also, I've never harded, <laughs> harvested one of these. Oh, we got rare mushrooms. Wow. <gasps> Hi, beaver. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, big ass salmon fish. You're a big boy. Oh, we got two. We got two big ass salmon fish. We are taming ourselves an otter today, ladies and gentlemen. Are you excited? Oh, don't try and kill me. This is so much easier with a, um, a thingy mover. Oh, there's a there's a thing over there too. Oh, hello. They're just they're just coming to coming to die. Uh, if I could kill one of you, I would be forever indebted. Thank you. Drag body, Senor Beaver. Oh, Carno. I swear to God, if you. Oh, why do I keep saying Beaver? Mr. Otter, where are you, sir? Hello? I swear if that frickin' Carno kill <gasps> Silica Pearls. Yes. This is like the best spot in all the land. Um, can I harvest it? Let me inside there. Oh yes. This is the this is the spot I was looking for. Like all oh, this is literally everything you could ever dream of. Otters, silica pearls beaver dams and fish i mean come on it doesn't get much better than that ladies and gentlemen i am just killing this thing because i know it's going to try and ruin my life and it's going to kill my otter i don't know where it went so if you guys want to know where to tame an otter on um crystal isles this is basically on the corner of 3020 i'll leave this up here for a second and i'm sure since one spawns here then they probably spawn in these rivers and that is where I would go to check them. So hopefully that comes in handy for you all. But I am absolutely determined to get myself an amazingly beautiful fur scarf. If only I could find it. I see it. It's in the grass. It's being sneaky. <gasps> you want to be friends? Come here. Come here. Oh, fish. This is the most aggravating feeding system in the world. <gasps> yes! Senior Otter Face. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You're beautiful. Level 215. Oh, that is thoroughly the most exciting thing ever. Yo, yo, what's up, home dogs? All right, we need to breed some otters. <laughs> I'm excited. I feel like a little child. Don't mind me. It's okay. I'm allowed to be happy. Otters are amazing and they're beautiful. They make amazing color mutations. They could get you silica pearls from the little pond I've got. Although I don't know if there's any fish in said pond, but they can still get me silica pearls. So they're pretty great. I'm happy. We're going to... I also really need to tame a beaver, but do not have enough stuff for that. Hey, could you like leave that? I really want to get inside and steal all your stuff. And I don't want to have to kill you because beavers are awesome. And I don't want to have to kill you, but I'm, I feel like I'm going to have to. Uh, what level are you? Level 40? 11. Oh! Why? Why did I go in? Why did I go to the exit screen instead? That was terrible. Oh my god. Alright, we got Sir Otter Face. Is this a male or a female? It's a female named Sir Otter Face. I am the worst. Oh my god. But we're back. Hey, why are you following me, home skillet? You're the cutest little thing ever. Okay. <laughs> Let's stop getting distracted. I need metal. Metal. Metal, 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 metal. There we go. I'm just, I'm not going to take out what I've got smelting already. Why would I? We've got plenty of metal all around the base. Also getting tons and tons of stone. So, uh, we're gonna finally going to craft up that forge. And hopefully when we do that, the forge should probably tell us what we need to craft for the rest of the stuff. So let's go ahead and get that. What is this though? This is a power recycler. Um, destroys items into their base resources. Must be attached to copper grinder to be powered. Interesting. Okay. Um, very interesting. So if we go into our inventory, 
Should have one of these bad boys. Can this go outside? Nice, it can. All right, I was a little worried. I was like, am I going to have to put this inside my tiny ass base? I really hope it's... Whoa, that was some lag. Oh, Jesus. I thought I just like deleted my base somehow. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so there we go. We are starving once again. Let's see here. Okay, so... Okay, nice. So for the glass panels, we just need crystal, which we have already got. So we've got some of this smelty stuff. And what is this? We can get coal from wood. Uh, we can also craft metal ingots in here and rough diamond from coal and obsidian. Interesting. I have a feeling we're going to need most of that stuff. I got some cementing paste. So we need smelted copper, which we already got. Smelted copper ore. So you can make it from coal and metal ingots and stone. Interesting. If you don't want to farm up your own and you get coal from wood huh how do i power this bad boy it requires gas gunpowder or spark powder to activate so <clears throat> we can at least get a lot of spark powder so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna start working towards farming up some of this stuff it's gonna take me a hot minute but uh we will get there ladies and gentlemen so either this is a bunch of wild dragons flying around or the patrons are doing some what is going on are they all glitched out Okay, it's got to be a bunch of patrons flying around, right? These aren't all wild, are they? What is this? Am I going to die? I feel like I'm going to die. Are there are there people on the ground? Okay, there are people on the ground. <laughs> is there chat going on? Okay, yeah, there is. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> cool. I was just checking out what was going on. I was, a little, I was flying back to base. I'm like, what the hell is going on? There we go. Uh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get back to base. I harvested... How much stuff did I actually get from that? So I got 67 smelted copper. Yes. But I really wanted the uh, the stone. So I went out and got a bunch of stone, some more crystal, and I can actually create the smelted copper from just a metal, which is actually easier to get than the smelted copper. I know I laughed at it earlier, but it is. it's just a lot easier to get. Especially because when you go into here, this will actually craft up all of this metal at once. So you can craft one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight metal at once. So I ended up crafting up all this super freaking quick. Now all I got to do is just put this stone in here. We can go ahead and craft up all of these smelted copper ore as well. And we're just going to go ahead and get some more metal going on here. And we should be good. Look at all that freaking coal we got. We are in the money. We definitely need some more crystal. So I'm going to go ahead and farm up some more of that. Because uh, we need to make this crafting table. We need 20 glass panels, which we have. Okay. 20 glass pan. Where the hell did it go? 20 glass panels and 75 metal ingots. We should have everything we need. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go ahead and craft one of these bad boys up. So now that we've got this going... We can finally start seeing all the things we actually need to start with the episode that I wanted to start with. Oh, God. It's crazy. But at least we got an otter. There it is. I was like, oh, my God. Where's otter? Otter, you need to go in here, okay? You're sketching me out. I don't want to lose you. Okay. Well, let's just see here. So we got copper. We need foundations. So five plates and 30 metal ingots. How do you make plates? That is the real question, because I don't see that option in here. So maybe it's an option in here. Copper plates. Have I just not learned it yet? Copper. Copper plate. No. What? Where do I make a copper plate at? Interesting. So, well, that kind of mucks things up a little bit. Copper. I, ha I, th I think I've learned. Yeah, I've learned everything I need. So we've got, the we don't need the industrial smoker, stove, copper forge is probably where I make it. So, oh my God. So for that, we need 300 cementing paste, 500 metal ingots, 250 oil, and smelt. So all we need is the smelted copper ore. Oh my God. And we need a lot of that. So, oh Jesus. I imagine that's what we need to make the copper plates. So this might end up being an episode where we just get all the things we need to actually start building the steampunk stuff so that's not too bad we st i still really think i need some oh you know what we can do 
in the time being, I think there's an upgrade station in here. Upgrade. Upgrade station. So we need hide, metal, stone, wood. We got all that stuff. Nice. Okay. So we can make that upgrade station. And then if we have better weapons, we can, uh, we'll can we be at least able to farm up better stuff until we get like an Anklia or something. All right, so I got the upgrade station made, and I figured I'd go over what we do to actually make this happen, which is pretty easy. We're just going to put our weapon in the inventory. Now, I know you guys have been saying my mouse is off from the recording, and I have no idea why that's happening. I, th I can see it actually now on OBS, and <laughs> it's so strange. It is the weirdest thing ever, and I don't know how to fix it. It's something I'm going to have to look into. I apologize. I know it's a little bit of a nightmare. I would just hide the cursor for you guys, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, so what you got to do is you got to click on the item, and then we can attempt upgrade. So we just upgraded this one to a ramshackle, and obviously it's going to cost a little bit more each time we do it. So we can attempt upgrade here. We got a ramshackle one, and it's quite a bit better. Let's go ahead and attempt another upgrade. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get these to ascendant here real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's going. Nice. Who needs freaking? Okay, this is how we can go. We're out of we're out of metal ingots and stuff. But I do have a bunch of metal, so we can get a whole bunch more stuff. So this is gonna make our lives a little bit easier. We should be able to harvest quite a bit more per smack now. So it's gonna make life a lot better until we get all the things that we need. See, look how awesome this is for crafting up metal. It's amazing. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. So all right, we're still crafting up. The smelted copper ore. How much do we need for that forge? Uh, copper forge. Oh, it's made in here. One forge, please. So we need 200. So we're almost there. And we've got 500 cementing paste. Let's go ahead and squirt that in there. Actually, let's go ahead and just put most of our things in here. Got plenty of that. So we need... Uh, metal ingots, which we've got. Oil, which we can easily get. And the smelted copper ore. Not too bad. Oh, boy. We have finally got all the things that we need. It's been a long time, but we got it. So, one forge, please. Uh, powered by spark powder. Nice. So, we've already got some spark powder. Uh, as you guys can see, I also crafted up some stone gateways in hopes that I could actually make a taming pen, but it doesn't look like we're going to actually get to taming anything in this particular episode, mainly because we've got so many other things going on, and we'll do some taming probably in the next one. But let's go ahead and place that bad boy here. Can I, I can pick these up, right? Nice. Okay, I can. So, very, very good. Let's see here. Now, there we go. There are our glass panels, our... our um. Also, our copper plates, which require glass panels to make. That is very interesting. Uh, we can refine oil in here, and we can also uh, do the smelted copper ore in here. So, the smelted copper ore still requires the same ingredients, and this just requires the smelted copper ore. So, we still got a bunch of stuff to start gathering for. Do I have... I got 55 of these. So, we should actually be able to start crafting up the majority of this mainly because it doesn't cost a whole lot to make each piece um, of actual structure. So let's go ahead and we got to put some spark powder in here. We'll just grab half of it. doesn't look like it uses a lot of it. Uh, ignite this bad boy. And is it going to automatically just start crafting all of them? I think it, it's not going to. All right, there we go. So we can just start doing that. We'll just do, just craft all of them, please. All of them. There we go. And we're going to need a lot more crystal as well. All right. So you know how I said I thought the copper foundations were cheaper than uh, than a normal foundation? I was horridly wrong. Like horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. I'm just going through here and kind of looking at some of the stuff we can craft. Uh, so I've got two, four, six, uh, 654 copper plates, which really is it going to be a lot so i'm kind of just looking at what we can do here and there's a couple other things here so we got a tannery i don't even know what that does so a mecha mechanism that turns hide into leather and that must be for crafting some specific stuff Ooh, if you love to garden and plant flowers vegetables and herbs this is your perfect potting bench for you 
interesting. I think we might have to check that out at some other point. But what we need right now is just the foundation. So there's supposed to be a couple different types of foundations, but all I can do is get this graded copper foundation, which is not what I want. I want the solid one, but I don't know where to craft it. So, and for some reason, when I go into my Ingram list for foundations, I don't see anything else. Like I'm, there's supposed to be three. So we got the light on copper foundation. And then we've got the graded copper foundation, which I've already got, which is under tech for some reason. And, but there is no other copper foundation and I don't know where it is. Like maybe I'm losing my mind. If I just look under copper, maybe I don't want, I don't understand. I mean, we could just maybe craft a bunch of these ceilings, reinforced copper floor. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We changed things up a little bit, did we? Interesting. This is like too wide. Oh, and this is this is much, 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 much more reasonable. Okay, let's craft one of these bad boys and see what it do. I think what we're going to do today is we're just going to get like the foundation that we need to build um, just set up for, for the next episode. So yeah, okay. Much, 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 much better. Okay. Um, so let's see here. I really wanted to build this kind of like a... I don't know, like a steampunk lodge kind of thing. So I want a deck and uh, like a porch and stuff. So I think we're going to build right here. And nothing spawns in this particular spot. So I think we should be fine to build right across here. I think that'll look good. What do you guys think? And then I'll put like a graded thing over this. Did these not even snap together? I was about to poop everywhere for a second. I was like, what? I swear... I swear if this doesn't snap right there. Oh, I'm going to be upset. Can we pick these things up? Okay, we can pick them up. Good. All right, so we're going to get a bunch more of these crafted up. All right, so we got quite a bit done today. I just realized that this episode is going on about 35 minutes long. Uh, so we're going to end the episode here in a minute, but we got a ton of stuff done today, and we still got a lot going on. I'm actually... Okay, so this is all the metal that we've got crafted up. We've got ourselves in a situation where we can actually get everything we need done for most of the future episodes. We can start expanding into most of the steampunk stuff, the automated arc stuff, which is going to make our lives incredibly easy. In the next episode, I think we're going to continue building our steampunk build here as well as tame up maybe a Prometheus Strike and maybe some other dinos as well. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be taming. I guess we'll kind of go with the flow. I wanted to do that today. We ended up getting our cute little otter here who's still named Senior Otter Face instead of Mrs. Otter Face. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are all enjoying the series so far. I may add another dino mod in the future um, just because there's not a ton of Prometheus stuff. Although the stuff in the Prometheus mod is amazing, it's, there's not a ton of stuff in it quite yet. So maybe having another dino mod or two on this will be cool. So leave your recommendations for that down below if you have any. And uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And Aberration is coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to be here for that, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I just got like the equivalent of Google Fiber, so I've got a really fast internet connection. So I'm going to be uploading videos as fast as I can make them, and I'm hoping that I'll be first on a lot of the stuff for Aberration. So if you're looking forward to that, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be pumping out a lot of really good content, another good survival series, as well as breeding all the new dinos. So <laughs> I'm super excited. Oh, my God. I really hope it still actually comes out in October. But anyways, that is all I've got. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye Wave! I keep doing this. Eh. There. We're waving. Like pros.